Okay, students, welcome to the uh, uh, introduction to Stu Kent simulation video. This is really a video that we're just introducing the Stu Kent simulation itself, telling you a little bit about it and, uh, and a little bit about how you're going to be graded this semester, as well as the due dates that you're going to have throughout the semester to be able to turn in your decisions for the simulation. So this is just an introductory video. And I hope everyone will watch this and learn uh, as much as they need to just to feel comfortable to get ready for the simulation itself. We're very excited about the simulation. I'm together here right now with uh, Victor Nogira, our TA. Uh, Victor and I have put this simulation together and Victor is gonna largely lead you through this uh, journey with the simulation. So we're excited about this. And, uh, and you know, he has a lot of experience actually running simulations. We've done a number in the past and uh, this is a newer, uh, strategic simulation that we're going to try this semester, and we're very excited about using it because it integrates really well with the content of the class that you've been learning so far. So uh, we'll be co-instructing this myself with Victor Nogira, and uh, Victor is here with me on the video. I'll talk a little bit first to introduce some stuff to you, and then I'll pass it off to Victor, and he's going to be sort of your guide or Sherpa throughout this entire process to make sure that you understand everything and you do well on this uh, simulation. So if, uh, first of all, if you have not got the Stu Kent simulation yet and purchased it and, and have access to it, you need to immediately do so. Uh, we're giving this video for people who already have got the simulation. And then at the end, we're gonna talk to those people and give further instructions uh, for those who really need to go get the simulation still as well. So we want everybody to have it. So if you don't have it, access to it, and you don't have it tied to your account, um, and Victor will walk you through that, um, you need to get that done ASAP. Because if you don't have that, you're not going to be able to do that, and you will lose 20% of your grade in the class. It pretty much means you're going to guarantee fail. So you have to go get this done. Uh, there's instructions uh, that we've posted on Blackboard. There's also uh, details in the syllabus and how to acquire it. And Victor is gonna talk about this at the end of this video. So for those of you who have not done so, please watch the entire video. So the simulation is called the Stu Kent Introduction to Marketing Simulation, or it's the Mimic Marketing Principles Simulation. Now, one of the things that some people will say is, I've used Stu Kent before. Now, Stu Kent produces numerous simulations. They're a company that specializes in building different simulations. So you might have actually used a Stu Kent simulation. Some people use it for social media classes. Uh, some people use it for their finance, but we're gonna be using the marketing principle simulation in this class, and we're really excited about it. So uh, let me start by telling you a little bit more about um, the, the way in which the simulation will be graded. Uh, and, uh, and then we'll get into some more details about things here uh, for the class. So first of all, as you'll note in your syllabus, this simulation and the grade on this simulation represents 20% of your overall grade in the class. So it's very important. And if you really participate and you do everything towards it, there should be no reason that you can't get an A uh, on this simulation. It's, uh, it really is based on applying the principles that we've talked about in the class to make decisions that are real world type decisions uh, that will impact a company's uh, success. So you're going to be working on this uh, throughout the rest of the semester, and we'll talk about how this works. But you're going to be making a series of decisions, um, and these are called rounds, and Victor is going to go through that in a minute with you. But your decisions will be graded each round. So you'll submit a decision, and that, submission, that decision submission will receive a grade associated with it. Uh, as you continue to make these decisions, your little company will make more revenue or less revenue based on how effective your decisions are. Those companies who make the most revenue will get the highest grades. So those successful decision makers will generate revenue and will get very high grades on the simulation. You'll be able to actually track in the simulation how you're doing as it progresses. One thing, and you should note this for the quiz that we're going to be asking you on the Stu Kent quiz. One of the questions on the quiz, which is the most important round uh, for the simulation? And that's round one. And that's the market research round. 
That's going to be coming up soon. And you've got to make sure that you do very well on round one. So for those of you who want the quiz, it's going to be a five question quiz. Question number one, what's the most important thing um, uh, to do for the simulation and make a decision on round one? OK, another thing that, uh, to remember about the class is the, the simulation scores generate and, the, and you're actually gonna be generating revenue following round three. That's when your company starts making revenues. So you'll be able to track it and see how well you do. Then at the end of the last decision, you're gonna have a cumulative revenue and we're gonna be able to summarize those grades and be able to see where you're at and you'll absolutely see how you're doing overall in the simulation. So, um, uh, one of the things that we're going to do throughout this is each decision uh, uh, that you make has a video that Stu Kent has posted to be able to help you make that decision. It's more of a video guiding you through the decision making process. But in addition to that, Victor is going to be posting tips and tricks to be able to make sure people do a good job. So that's just sort of a supplemental thing on top of those regular Stu Kent videos that you'll watch. Okay. Okay, so now let's students let's look at the uh, at the simulation schedule. Um, uh, as you'll see here, uh, we have an extra credit uh, Stu Kent quiz that uh, will open up on October fifth, uh, just after midnight, and close at midnight on October sixth. This will be worth five percent extra credit uh, towards your grade in Stu Kent. So, really, what you need to do for this extra credit quiz is pay close attention to this video that we're shooting right here. Everything in that Stu Kent quiz will be contained in this video and on these PowerPoint slides. So you should have no problem getting 100% on that quiz by watching this video. So that's that's the key, okay? And that 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 video will be a short five question video, uh, um, video quiz, and it's based on this video. So that should be very easy for you to complete. Uh, you will, however, need to have Stu Kent already. So we're going to be, to get credit, that extra credit, we need to have you enrolled in Stu Kent and that registered. And you, and Victor will talk about this more. So you either need to register under your UH, uh, at uh.edu email or your Cougar Debt email. And that allows us to tie it back uh, to uh, Blackboard for us, for, our, for your simulation. So make sure that you have registered uh, and have watched this video in its entirety before taking that quiz. You should have no problem. It's completely open book, open notes, and you should be able to nail that quiz. Now let me pass over uh, to Victor. Um, as you'll see, the simulation uh, is a multi-round simulation, and you're gonna be making decisions on each round of the simulation. Uh, and I'll let Victor talk a little bit overall about the simulation. Uh, itself and what the, what product you'll represent and what your company does. And then a little bit about uh, just briefly about each round, recognizing that you're going to actually have detailed videos that guide you through each round. Victor will not only be posting a video each time a round comes up, giving you tips and tricks, but there's actually a video associated that Stu Ken has put that, get, that guides people through their decisions each round. So you're gonna have full information that helps you make your decisions, but we're just gonna give you a little bit of information about the simulation itself, and then uh, a little bit about each of these rounds so you get a flavor for what's gonna be happening. So let me pass it over to Victor. All right. Thanks, Mike. Uh, so I'll be talking about the introduction to Bowie, uh, the company that you'll be acting as during the simulation throughout the seven rounds that we have listed here on the page. So at a high level, you're going to be acting as a product manager at Bowie Supply Company, uh, which is an e-commerce re e retailer of bags. Uh, and the reason that Mike has been mentioning that the first round is so critical, because it is the round where you actually purchase uh, your market research. So from that, you're going to be basically making all of your decisions for the later rounds. So the first round is really simply scored. It's really just completion. Uh, but the next rounds are where it's actually extremely important because you'll be making all of your decisions based off of that. So in round two, you'll see that you're actually launching your product. And in, during this round, you're going to select a bag to sell. You're going to determine its retail price. And you're also going to create a positioning statement, all of which will come from uh, the questions that you ask in the market research. 
For example, which of the following do you consider most when purchasing a tote bag? So that is uh, one example question that you may have asked in round one that you use in round two to launch your product. So uh, you'll also be making decisions related to price around in, in this round. And then in the third round, you'll be creating a promotions plan. So for the promotions plan, you will be able to A-B test different strategies of promotion to maximize profit of your bag. And in addition, you'll get access to uh, ad spending. So you'll be able to spend different amounts of your budget on different sources of advertising, such as Twitter or YouTube, for example. Uh, and then from there, you will uh, be able to sell the bag and you'll see some of the returns uh, to the strategies that you've selected in round three. Now rounds four through seven are really quite simple. They're going to be just uh, optimizing out essentially the, the price point of the bag and different uh, variables related to the bag. So in rounds four through seven, it's a, it looks uh, quite similar and you're just trying to maximize your revenue. So at a high level, that is what the simulation is going to contain. And now I'll jump over into getting registered. And as of Wednesday at 5 p.m., September 30th, we had 617 registered students. Uh, now overall, we have about 1,090 students in the class, so we are still missing several students uh, from the registered list on the simulation. So if you'd like to check if you are registered, you will simply go to the Blackboard and you will go to the class 13 where we have the introduction to simulation content course module. In that course module, there's an Excel file um, and it's very simple. So you just go into the Excel file, you look for your uh.edu email in column D and then you look at column K and it will say yes or no if you're registered. Uh, and it's really that simple. Uh, so if you, if you are one of the students that's already registered, you need to check this list. You can make sure there's a yes by your name. And if there is, perfect, all, uh, there's nothing for you to do. We will provide more information next week about the, the quiz coming up. And yeah, so no worries if you're already registered. Just make sure that you check the list in Blackboard to ensure that. Now, for unregistered students, there are 494 of you out there. And again, this is 20% of your grade. So as it stands a little, it's about 40% of the class has not even registered for the simulation. So we strongly advise that you get registered so that we can have a smoothly running uh, simulation and you can do well and we can make sure that everyone is able to get a good grade on the simulation. So if you haven't registered, please do so ASAP. There will be a link to register in the description of this video and you can always check the syllabus as well. So for those students who still need to register, I'll just walk through what you what the, the process might look like. So you just click the link in the simulation or in the description of this video and you'll be brought to the following page. So uh, here, all you need to do is input your at uh, uh.edu email so for me, that's going to be vmnovira at uh.edu, and then I'll submit that. And this, that step is very important because it's what we actually use to link you to your Blackboard. So please use your UH email so this is simple and we can make sure that uh, it's all linked up correctly. So it will walk you through some more steps to actually register. Since I'm an admin on this, it's actually just pushing me straight through. Um, but for you guys, you'll walk through some more steps and you'll pay the discounted price of $25 uh, to register for the simulation. We will be updating the list of registered students daily uh, during weekdays. So please check back if you register uh, one day later to see if your name has switched from a 